Hollywood, 1989. Amid the glitz and the glitter of a bustling young Disney world at the height of its golden age, the Disney MGM Studios was a star in its own right, a beacon for the show business elite. Then, something happened that changed all that. The time is now to celebrate 35 years of Disney's Hollywood Studios with the largest ever in-person gathering of those who created its magic. The Imagineers who brought you the great movie ride. Muppet Vision 3D. And of course, as you may recognize, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. We'll present never before seen stories and artwork from the Hollywood that never was but always will be. This event is somewhat unique in that it will offer a meet and greet and autograph session, as well as two days of star-studded panels and presentations. We invite you, if you dare, to register at stage89.com to attend this event either in person or via streaming, or just to get more information. And all event proceeds travel directly to Give Kids the World Village. This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Eric Martin of WDWNT.com. Please like this video, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell to make sure you never miss the latest from Disney theme parks around the world. Here now is the news for March 29th, 2024. 90 new buses will be joining the Walt Disney World fleet with new wraps and accessibility features. According to the Orlando Business Journal, 30 of the new buses are, are already in use, while the other 60 may be making their way to Walt Disney World soon. The 90 new buses will replace 90 older ones that are already in the fleet. The new buses will feature original wraps with characters and films, including uh, Figment, uh, Zootopia, Chippendale, 101 Dalmatians, Orange Bird and Ratatouille. Actually, we, we caught a glimpse of the Ratatouille bus earlier today. You can see that on our site. Guests can begin seeing these new buses immediately. Uh, in addition to the new wraps, these bus models will also have better accessibility features. Uh, the buses will now be able to carry three guests with disabilities, uh, wheelchairs in particular, compared to the older models that could only carry two. The added functions will work for guests with wheelchairs, scooters, and strollers. We reported seeing these buses beginning to join the fleet uh, earlier last month. Uh, the buses are also going to come with USB charging ports for each seat, and also they're going to be equipped with Wi-Fi. So happy days for everyone. A new collection of retro Walt Disney World apparel featuring brightly colored designs has arrived here at Walt Disney World. We found the collection in the Emporium at Magic Kingdom, but the crew neck sweatshirt was also found in Creation Shop at Epcot. That crew neck sweatshirt sells for $49.99, and the collection also includes a long sleeve shirt for $39.99, a zip up hoodie for $59.99, a bucket hat for $29.99, a black layered t-shirt for $29.99 and that same similar design in gray also for $29.99. Uh, $29 for a deeper look at the retro collection, check out our site. Communicore Hall in Epcot has reached a new construction milestone. On Wednesday evening at the park, the flat triangular patterns along the building's exterior were lit up. As you can see in our photos, some of the panels on the right wall were able to be lit up in what looks like from a distance white light. We also spotted lighting testing inside Communicore Hall with lighting strips lining the ceiling. Lights were also elsewhere on the building. Further down this same wall, some triangles were lit in very pale shades of pink green and blue. It's possible that the colors become more vibrant at night or they could simply just not be testing their full capabilities just yet. Earlier in the week, we also spotted the, the side of the building with colorful brackets added. Now we can see those were in preparation for the 3D triangles that are now present to match the rest of the building. Some of the flat triangles were also lit up. On the side of the building that faces Communicore Plaza, the triangular patterns are brightly lit with shades of blue, green, and a pale orange visible from a distance. Communicore Hall and Plaza will open on June 10th, 2024. 
Mama Melrose's Ristorante Italiano at Disney's Hollywood Studios will launch six new menu items on April 1st. Disney announced that on their Instagram account. The new menu items are rigatoni bolognese, braised pork asabuco, fried mozzarella sticks, uh, goat cheese tart, fettuccine alfredo with shrimp and mushrooms, and artichoke cheese dip. Mama Melrose's Ristorante Italiano is located in the Grand Avenue area of Disney's Hollywood Studios, kind of tucked way in the back of the land. Rest assured, we will be there to review it. Actually, we're going on Monday, and we will let you know all of our thoughts. We'll have an article, probably a video, too. Numerous changes have taken place to the menu at Dahlia Lounge as well, including the elimination of my favorite sandwich, the ham and cheese bocadillo. I know it's a favorite for a lot of people. The new menu rolled out last night, and of course, we were there to try it. Keep your eyes peeled. We're going to be launching that article soon, also a video of our experience there. Uh, but yeah, rest in peace to the ham and cheese bocadillo. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest Vacations and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. Head over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WWNT and their team will design your next magical vacation. From Disney World and Disneyland to Disney Cruise Line to Adventures by Disney and more, they're also able to book those unforgettable VIP tours where you and your group can experience the ultimate park day. Of course, the best part is that the concierge services are 100% free, so book today. There's a new addition at Disney's Animal Kingdom. An Abdom Stork Chick has just joined Dino Land USA. Dr. Mark Penning, the vice president of Disney's Animal Science and Environment, shared the news on the recent arrival on his Instagram page, saying the following, uh, we have some exciting news to share. A new Abdom Stork Chick recently joined Dino Land USA. Uh, Abdom Storks often build their stick nests on rocky terrain, and adults can be identified by their signature black feathers, blue face, and a red patch near, the, near each eye. Be sure and keep an eye out for this exciting new addition. Uh, welcome to the world, young storks. I, I look forward to seeing you soon. In a new video shared by Disney Parks, the voice of Olaf, Disney legend Josh Gad, becomes a Disneyland Railroad conductor for a day. Last year, Gad fulfilled his dream of becoming a Jungle Cruise skipper after mentioning at D23 Expo in 22 that, well, he was once rejected for that job. In the new video, Gad surprises guests on the Disneyland Railroad by joining them for a grand circle tour of the park. It's much better than the mediocre Pentagon tour Gad jokes. He cracks jokes and shares fun facts like the fact that the EP Ripley engine transporting him was an original train once operated by Walt Disney himself. By the end of the video, uh, Gad even lands a full-time job as a train operator at Disneyland. So congratulations, Josh. Disneyland Resort is testing new facial recognition entry systems, and we were able to participate in a test of it on Wednesday. New gates were installed at Disney California Adventure a few weeks ago. They're on the far right end of the park's entrance area. At least during testing, guests cannot use Magic Band Plus at these gates, but there are Magic Band touch points installed. Step one is a cast member. They scan the guest ticket on their phone to see if they have a photo already in the system. If they don't, the cast member then takes that photo. Then the guest approaches a gate. Uh, here they scan their ticket again. A camera above the mounted screen then scans their face to see if it matches a photo that's in the system. When we were taking a photo of the screen, it detected, quote, too many faces. We had too many faces. Sorry about that. We also had to take off sunglasses for the photo validation to work. Uh, once your identity is confirmed, a pair of clear gates open, letting you into the park. Though the system is supposed to streamline the entry process, we found it took much longer than usual. Of course, that I, I imagine they won't have that cast member there eventually. Hopefully, bugs will be worked out during testing if Disney does decide to move forward with the system. Walt Disney World Resort tested that facial recognition technology back in March of 2021. system was similar to the one at Disneyland, but without those clear gates. The test ended in May of 2021, and the system was never permanently installed. Uh, Universal Orlando Resort began using facial recognition technology for entry last year, and it remains in use. Uh, their third park, Epic Universe, is going to be using it. This is probably going to cause some people to get a little nervous. I know there's that sort of big brother element to this. Also, the possibility it eliminates a cast member job. Some people aren't happy about that. I know social media was talking about it. I guess we'll see if they choose to move forward with this. 
Steakhouse 71, located inside Disney's Contemporary Resort, has gotten rid of their refillable mimosa breakfast option. We were first tipped off to the change when a reader sent WWNT an email explaining that the refillable mimosas were not available during a recent visit. The email reads, just got back from a visit to Steakhouse 71 for breakfast and was disappointed to find out bottomless mimosas are no longer on the menu. And then yesterday, we, of course, went to Steakhouse 71 to verify. Yes, we confirmed that. We saw it. Uh, we said uh, we talked to the staff who told us, yep, they were removed from the menu. The beverage option did cost $19 Then was described on the menu as Moss Fee Cava, Brute Sparkling Wine and Orange Juice. It's no longer on the menu. Sorry about that to all of you that enjoyed the bottomless mimosas there. Reports indicate that Disney Vacation Club will soon start giving Walt Disney World Resort hotel guests a $200 Disney gift card if they're willing to take a 30-minute DVC property tour. The offer will be available, allegedly, starting on Sunday, March 31st. It's not valid for current DVC members. The following model villas are available for hotel guests to tour between 8 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. Bay Lake Tower, uh, Copper Creek Villas and Cabins at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, both the Cascade Cabins and the two-bedroom villas, Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas at Jumbo House and Kidani Village, Disney's Beach Club Villas, Disney's Boardwalk Villas, Disney's Polynesian Villas and Bungalows, Disney's Riviera Resort, and the Villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. So as we said, this is a rumor until it's confirmed, which will probably be uh, over the weekend. Uh, just treat it as a rumor, but yeah, $200 gift card if you want to tour of DVC property. The Disney treasure has officially been set afloat, marking another milestone ahead of its debut this winter with Disney Cruise Line. The Disney treasure, the next ship in the Disney Cruise Line fleet, uh, is set to debut. The, uh, it's going to be, of course, the second of the Wish class. People always, uh, there's a debate about this. People are used to calling it the Triton class. I think uh, the way to explain it is uh, the, they are named after the first class, uh, ship in its class, which is the Wish. Uh, but before the Wish was launched, it was pro the project was codenamed Triton. I hope that clears it up for some people. It is the Wish class anyway. Uh, that was a uh, anyway. The the treasure was officially set afloat uh, a few weeks ago, according to an Instagram post from, by Disney Parks and Disney Cruise Line. The treasure hit the water at the Meyerwerf shipyard in Germany when the water from the Erms River was added into the building dock where the treasure has been undergoing construction. Once afloat, the treasure was moved to a new location to continue its construction. The Disney treasure will set sail on its maiden voyage on December 21st of 2024. The adventure theme ship will feature an anthem by Jordan Sparks, a haunted mansion parlor, a jungle cruise inspired lounge, and much, much more. The Disney treasure was moved to make way for the Disney Destiny, as we learned last week. That's the uh, name of the third ship that's going to be joining the Wish class. The Disney Destiny will be themed to heroes and villains with Hero Mini at the bow. The ship will feature references to Disney films, including The Lion King, Hercules, and 101 Dalmatians. Disney notes that soon the Disney Destiny and the Disney Treasure will both be placed next to each other in the shipyard uh, in another milestone moment that's coming up. Disney also shared a preview of the new Bahamian-inspired merchandise that will be available at Disney Cruise Line's Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point, which opens later this summer. Actually, I'll be on that voyage to check that out. The Junkanoo-inspired collection draws from a long-standing Bahamian tradition featuring colorful costumes and parades. The merchandise features bright hues and festive patterns merged with nods to Mickey and Minnie Mouse. This collection includes a spirit jersey, Lounge fly backpack and an ear headband. There are also two new plush. The new Mickey and Minnie Mouse plush depicts the couple in their Bahamian outfits designed by Theodore Elliott. Uh, the Theodore Elliott collection will include apparel, an ear headband, and more created by the Bahamian fashion designer. Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point is a new private Disney Cruise Line destination located on the Bahamian island of Eleuthera. Eleuthera. Um, I, I've heard it pronounced a number of ways. I think it's Eleuthera. It will open to sailings this June. A Tokyo Disney Sea Park entrance sign has been added to the Fantasy Springs Hotel at Tokyo Disney Resort. Fantasy Springs Hotel will open June 6th of this year, along with brand new Tokyo Disney Sea Port Fantasy Springs. The hotel is located inside of the park, and guests staying at the hotel will be able to enter Fantasy Springs from the entryway uh, by presenting their proof of stay at Tokyo Disney Sea Fantasy Springs Hotel. Excuse me. Uh, the entrance will be exclusive to guests staying at the hotel and guests using the happy entry guest benefit. 
This comes at a great advantage as demand to enter Fantasy Springs is sure to be high when it opens this summer. It's already high. We know that it's uh, very difficult to book this hotel already. During our recent visit, that was Tom's visit, we could see crew members working on the new sign while scaffolding covered much of it. We were able to make out a pretty solid view. The sign reads Tokyo Disney Sea Fantasy Springs Entrance. Fantasy Springs Entrance is done in the port's logo font with pink florals surrounding it. The, uh, at the ground level, a tip board is also uh, partially installed anyway. Situated between Lost River Delta and Arabian Coast, Fantasy Springs will be home to three areas themed to Frozen, Tangled, and Peter Pan. It'll be Disney Sea's largest and most expensive expansion to date. If you want to see this, uh, Tom did drop his first Tokyo vlog earlier today, so you can see his journey, uh, his small Japanese apartment, his journey to the park, uh, and also him uh, being able to see this sign from the monorail. He goes shopping and some other things. Check that one out. It should be fun. For the absolute latest on all these stories and those that did not make it onto today's show, be sure to check out WDWNT.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. You can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at Patreon.com slash WDWNT. You get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. A special shout out to all the WIGS members watching who make this show happen each and every week. For the Worldwide Leader in Disney Parks News, this is Eric Morton saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow.